What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Now, guys, the other day I roasted Alex Rodriguez. No, actually, Jennifer Lopez stopped the show. I actually roasted both of them. Uh, I said she hit the wall, which I believe that she has. But shortly after my video, the reports are that Alex Rodriguez and J-Lo are actually working it out, okay? Trying to figure things out. So much so that I guess she's filming a movie in the Dominican Republic and Alex Rodriguez flew over there to try to figure things out, work it out. Oh my God! Okay. And A-Rod says that, you know, they never broke up, so together hit a rough patch and all of that. Now, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this because it does seem like A-Rod is simping. And for us who are the normal broke people of the world, it is. But when you are Alex Rodriguez and you have went through probably as many women as he has, you know, he made a lot of money. He's worth $350 million. Jennifer Lopez is worth $400 million. You know, here's what's going on here. Alex Rodriguez is going back to Jennifer Lopez for one reason only. Could be he loves her, but I'm gonna tell you why. Alex Rodriguez don't wanna date no more broke women, okay? And I thought about it, and then I wanna come back and talk about it. I have a, one of my best friends is a dentist. Now, obviously my friend makes, he makes nowhere near the money that Alex Rodriguez does, okay? We know that at all, but in so far as the reason why he is what he is once he graduated Meharry Medical College he was in Oklahoma and he was dating a lot of chicks that just didn't have no money or not as much money as him broke they were dusty sandal it all the way up and what he told me was he just got tired of it all right got tired of dealing with women who didn't have anything Women who couldn't do things, women who couldn't live in his lifestyle. So the woman that he actually married was a woman that was making six figures. Okay, couldn't he? Could he have married you know a woman that we probably would have thought was, let's say, more of a model type of lady? And sure, but what happened was he was like, "Look, I'm tired of paying for women." This is what he told me. Okay, like I'm tired of it. I don't want to pay for them all the time. Like they want expensive things and stuff. They don't have it. They're demanding. They know I'm a dentist and stuff. All, like all this stuff. I'm tired of being targeted. At least this woman, one of the things I know she's professional. She owns her own house. I, I got a house. So listen, she making six before she meet me. When I get with her, look, I get to keep my money. And I know that we're on more of the same level, same playing field. Okay. When you, when you, when you, when you get guys like Alex Rodriguez, who you know, deal with chicks and women in today's world who are, and you got to really think about this and understand maybe the red pill that he's dealing with, right? Most chicks that he would deal with are going to tell. Trying to put him in some kind of scandal, might try to meet to him, do all of that. Jennifer Lopez on his same level, maybe got a little bit more money than him, same kind of culture possibly. It's worth it for him to be able to go ahead and deal with her because she got a good work ethic so does he versus dealing with a woman that's a little bit younger and i'm just looking at it from his perspective younger not as accomplished wanting everything for nothing and he don't want to do that so i might as well go and deal with j-lo who got 400 million because ain't too many people like j-lo that make 400 million that look at least as good as her and you know we both from new york both hispanic culture and i don't want to deal with no thoughts that's where he's coming from, I'm pretty sure. Because this is the reason why I tell you a lot of celebrities, I believe, are red peeled. Like, they know that they sleep around with each other, but they do it in a kind of unique, slick way. For some of us, the sick is that they know that they both got something to lose. Alex Rodriguez is not going to be dealing with a lady ain't got nothing to lose. Jennifer Lopez has got something to lose. And when you make $350 million, you just don't deal with regular people all like that. See, me, I mean, if I make $100,000 a year, $200,000 a year, I'm, I'm more 
of a normal person than anybody. So I, I, I don't know what it's like to reach that level of, of, of wealth. But if I was even worth $10 million, oh, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even live in, in normal places. You know, I would do different things. Talking about people who are actually getting on jets, who have jets, who have yachts and summer homes and winter homes, and they live a different type of lifestyle. And they don't want to just let anybody into that. They have friends who are, you know, let's say I know him and Derek G didn't get along that well, but they did at first. I don't know about now, but you know, you have friends like that. Um, LeBron James, probably a buddy of yours. You know, who never know? You have all these guys that you can do all these things with and you just can't show up with a chick who just making a hundred grand a year. And you're a guy that's making a lot of money like that. You can't even deal with normal people because you have so much money that it's like, why would you do that? Now, if you're one of these hip hop superstars, something like that, I mean, you know, they, you know, they're stupid. But A Rod is worth three hundred and fifty million damn dollars, you know, and it's it's probably not worth it explaining, you know, the things he got to do in the day, you know, why she ain't got no time. I mean, what you know, regular people are living regular lives that are nowhere on the near of the same level of success as people that have. You know that they're working that making that much kind of money the the amount of dedication and success that it takes to make that kind of money over 10 year life in jlo i'm pretty sure she works very hard you you just can't you can't relate to a normal person who has a nine to five and maybe he's past the stage where he wants to sleep with just thoughts you know i don't even care about that like what's that for so this is the reason why i think he went and he made a in his mind, a calculated decision that was based more on, hey, look, we have a lot of things in common with each other outside of her age. I mean, she's good enough looking for me to want to like deal with her, but there are some things that we are, that we're, that we have that I probably can't get anywhere else or have to explain. I mean, the fact that he had, he flew to Dominican Republic, probably flew in a private jet or something like that. It just goes to show what kind of level of money he has. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. Check out all the things that we have here, guys. Uh, check out the Patreon. And always remember that before you remain at an all-time high, I'm out.